Hi, welcome to Stocking It Zombies. I'm Amy, also known as Janet Ma. And I'm Megan, also known as Just Run It. And this is episode 214. Yeah. What do we do here again? I don't know. It's been, it's been so long. Yeah. <laughs> we. <laughs> I think this is the longest hiatus yeah. that we've taken. We lament the, the humidity and um, we, <laughs> we knit a little. Yeah. Yep. We've been busy. I'm not going to say that we haven't been busy, but yeah. we haven't been podcasting. It's very true. It is very true. So we took a couple of, or, you know, a week and a half of that was the actual retreat hiatus. Mm-hmm. Um, so ZK 2016 is on the books. Thank you to everyone that came and had a great time with us. We have so many fun people. Um, it's just a fun environment and I don't know whether or not I should knock on wood and feel completely lucky that so many fun people choose to come and spend time with us in Rochester, Minnesota, um, or if fun just kind of begets fun. Mm-hmm. Um, but I was talking to uh, Tassos, the guy that's um, from Panacook, and he's just like, your people are just fantastic people. <laughs> like, we just love them here. <laughs> and how can we get them here more of them? Like, we love Panacookin, like people try to go make Panacookins at home, and he's like, "Oh, that's really hard." <laughs> I'm <was> like, "Yeah, <laughs> I think people have said that it's really hard." So, yeah, I think it's fun to not only feel like we are a fun group, but then have other people kind of confirm that we're a fun group. Cool. Yes, I think I've failed to have a Panacookin every time because whenever I'm there, I want some protein, uh, and I'm like. I was going to say, or I'm heading out the door, so you just come grab a six-pack of muffin yeah. and yeah, run out the door. So No, no. I think mainly it, when I get in there and I'm looking at the menu, I'm like, bacon, eggs. <laughs> like, <laughs> I want breakfast. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and everything else. You know, panna kookins are awesome. Mm-hmm. It's a lot of sugar. Yeah. Yep. So we love panna kookin. We loved the double tree, which was a good change this year. Uh-huh. Um, there's just so much to love. I uh, loved my 5k group. They did an awesome job and we had some awesome weather. Mm-hmm. We kind of had some storms after and some storms before, but we were clear gearing, mm-hmm. which was nice. Um, the, uh, we had a lot of people come on Wednesday this year, so the designer showcase was very well attended, mm-hmm. um, which I think was kind of eye-opening for some. Like, <laughs> like, I didn't realize how many people are going to be walking through here. And I was like, to be honest with you, I really didn't even. <laughs> in years past, we've had so many classes and um, just, yeah, stuff that kind of seemed like it, it it took away from it. But there was a lot of people through on the designer showcase. Thursdays on first made a reappearance. Yes. Oh, yay. That was great. Um, I did not get injured getting in on or off of a bus. I, I didn't get to the mayo store, but I, I joked with several people that we were going to go get you like a fall risk sign from, <laughs> from the mayo clinic. Do not let her step off of the bus yes. unattended. Yes. I, I, I tend to be a fall risk um, when I'm tired <laughs> and... Um, Which is understandable. But this year I actually decided to drive my own car and was safer <laughs> than getting off and off. Yes. Imagine that. Um, but yeah, we went out to LTS. Um, they treated us uh, very well, and the wonderful people of Darn It Anyway brought a pop up shop to the um, brewery for us, and that was wonderful. Um, so thank you to Amy, and thank you to the LTS crew. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm trying to think if there was anything else. Lots of Amy's to thank. Amy Deachin came yes. and did a fantastic job showed some very gorgeous half knit or not you half knit two no thirds sleeves. knit <laughs> no sleeved sweaters um that people just got a huge kick out of her and um her humor and mm-hmm. um the market was fantabulous um i wanted to thank everybody that um came and took my classes and were eager to learn mm-hmm. um did a omg where we learned the mini omg i think lesson learned for me is that we should probably start with the Judy's Magic cast on because we had a lot of folks that were top down and they said that was the hardest part. Oh, okay. That yeah. I gave that as homework to do the Judy's Magic cast on and could have been part of the class. Okay. 
first time I taught my fast fixes and had a lot of <gasps> like, you know, like, oh, that's magic. How did you do that again? And I'd show them, oh, you know, <laughs> that's pretty cool. Very eager, wonderful students and heard that um, um, said by the other teachers as well, right? Like, such fun group and everybody does so awesome. And um, What else? What else? What else? What else? Um, yeah, I don't know. What's your what was your favorite what's your favorite part? My favorite new thing was desserts. <laughs> okay. That was really fun. Yeah. Um, yummy, yummy, yummy. During the pajama event. Yeah, the pajama event. Yeah. So it was kinda all the same thing blended together, but I was quite impressed with our little dessert. I wasn't sure what to expect and I was very pleasantly surprised yes. and I thought that w went really well. Mm hmm And um I don't know. I think I think my favorite moment is Saturday after the market opens. Mm -hmm. Like every every tiny like minute stress that was going on from you know how many ever months up until mm -hmm. that point just kind of dissolves. Mm -hmm. The moment people start walking in to through the booths and start making purchases, like I don't know, like I think my job is over, mm -hmm. right? And everything is just like. Now I get to enjoy the rest of the retreat. Mm -hmm. So I think every year that's my favorite moment is that moment when you're like, I am done working yeah. and the rest of this is just yeah. for fun. It all, I mean, now looking back on it, it all gets kind of rose colored, right? I oh, mean, yeah. Because like I was telling Jeremy, I was like, I really didn't think this year was that stressful. And he was like, <laughs> oh my Lord. You know, it's kind of like having a, a baby, yeah. right? Like you don't think about the labor or what all of the stress leading up to it or how uncomfortable it was. After it's there, you're like, oh all these wonderful people came and it just and you don't well. twitch when somebody says the word mini skein yeah <laughs> um but no that's the people are consistently my favorite and had oh, more than one or two people come up to me and and, um, and i'm gonna try not to cry now but like say you know i kind of signed up for this because my friend told me that this was a lot of fun um, and I literally have not had this much fun in, in years, right? Like this, uh -huh. I'm just as happy as I could possibly be. And this is just life changing for me. And to hear somebody say that, you know, and I'm not bragging, I'm just saying like that is what warms my heart and makes it all worthwhile, right? Yeah. Wild. Well, and we say it every year and it seems cliche, but the only reason the treat retreat is as good as it is is because mm -hmm. of the people that show up um yeah. the people that show up they're open they're friendly they um they make everybody feel like uh, a knitting superstar in their mm -hmm. own right you know like oh what are you wearing what are you knitting you know like yeah. everybody um feels like a close knit community mm -hmm. and um like they're old friends instantly mm -hmm. and um and that's that's all in in you know the people yeah and so again yeah, yeah. it feels so fortunate that exactly have the, so. the fun folks that, that are so nice to one another and us and yep so whew. i'm here, sitting here talking about desserts and you know it's <laughs> obviously the people but <laughs> I, I wasn't trying to trump you. You were just actually naming an, an actual thing. I, I did enjoy the um, designer showcase a great deal this year. It felt like we had a lot of traffic and a lot of excitement. You had some exciting news on Yes, that as well. so um, some of the design work that I haven't really been talking about, um, Corey and I announced that we're writing a book, um, and our design team is called Knit Cahoots. Um, and uh, and had some swag, which was kind of fun um, to give away, and some t-shirts, and so yeah, that was exciting. I feel like um, there's a lot of pressure now that so many people know about the book <laughs> and and the the goal. Like now, you know, it's like revealing that you have a goal to the world, you know? right? Yes. Then all of a sudden, it, it's real, and you have to really do it. Um, but it's also very exciting um, mm -hmm. to to have um, have that out so that I don't have to be like, yeah, these socks are designed for something. And you'd be like, the retreat? And I'm like, no, I'm, I'm, I, I'm not good with secrets. I'm good at keeping other people's secrets, bad at keeping my own secrets. So it's good to have it out there. 
<laughs> She's a sharer. I am over sharer. Yeah, TMI most of the time. Too much <laughs> information. But, and not sharing my designs is a really, I mean, if I had to name one of the top hardest things about well, yeah, kind of cashing up a bunch of designs and not sharing them with the world is that, um, you know. Well, I, that was like one of the themes of H Amy Deachin's speech was what do you hate about knitting? Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, and she hates knitting sleeves. Mm -hmm. And so it yeah. was fun to hear what everybody dislikes and, um, yeah, it, it it was it was eye opening, and I can't remember what it ended up being. I had an epiphany during the marketplace that oh, there is something that I dislike, but mm -hmm. then I've forgotten it already. <laughs> yeah, I just like so, not being able yeah. to share with you, people yeah, my good. fun, exciting, whatever. So like the direct to Ravelry route does seem like <laughs> the best one for me, but it will be exciting when the book comes out and there's a bunch. Mm -hmm. So. I just said it's just um, delayed satisfaction. Yeah. Not instant gratification. Like, yeah. Look, isn't this fun? <sighs> so yeah, <laughs> yep. Um, we we are still kind of in our infancy um, as far as I've got a few designs that have been test knit and are going to be ready for test knitting. But we've got um, an Instagram knit cahoots on Instagram. So when we do get to the point where we're looking for test knitters, that would be one way to to find out. Mm -hmm. Okay. So. Yes, lots of pressure. Even more pressure now that I've revealed it to this online community. Mm -hmm. It's just a small footprint in real life, but it is exciting to see people's reactions in real life as well. Mm -hmm. So, yes, retreat, recap. Okay. And then there's so much enabling on my <laughs> Yeah, I have a I have a pile too. Like there were things that came while oh, we were on hiatus. This this is just going to be the marketplace. Okay. Oh, I have other things that okay. have arrived and that I got in Duluth and um, okay. yeah. Okay. Well, Which I, I wanted to mention, we did. My family, my husband was like the weekend following the retreat. He's like, we're going to go on a family vacation. I was like, I just got back to work. And I'm trying to recover from this cold and whatever. And he's like, it's a family vacation. I guess you can decide to go or not. And I was like, okay, well then I'm going. <laughs> um, but we had a great time. And I'm glad that he kind of pressured me into it because I did have a great time once I got past the like logistics of trying to get out of work and get caught up with work. And then mm -hmm. you said your re-re-entry was hard. It was. <laughs> it was like, I swear I was just doing this. <laughs> like trying to get caught back up, um, and lo and behold, I was. So, yep, yeah, it was fun. Yarn Harbor is awesome. I loved it even more because I could run to it on mm -hmm. the Lakeview Trail. Um, Grandma's Marathon is this weekend, so oh, it was kind of fun to yeah. see part of the, what would be. Yeah, and stuff. well, I mean, they were just putting porta potties up, but it was fun to be able to say that, like, I was on the trail that people are gonna be running. The, mm -hmm. My kids absolutely loved the water, um, so, uh, the, not maybe not little known fact, but not a known fact to me. Lake Superior in Duluth only fluctuates about four degrees, no matter what the temperature is. So at its coldest, it's about 40. Mm -hmm. At its most of the time, it's about 44. And in a, on like a really, really, really warm streak, it will get to like 48. So mm -hmm. <laughs> me and my kids and Jeremy and I'm standing there with my phone trying to take picture of all five of our feet in the in Lake Superior. Mom, my feet are throbbing. <laughs> Take the picture. Um, it was kind of like that Instagram um, mm -hmm. where the ladies jumping across. So like, hold your feet in the freezing water for five more minutes because I got to get the right picture. The right lighting. Ellie, get your skirt out of the way. But no, they played on rocks and they loved yeah. climbing on the rocks and um, they made temples where they got out kind of on islands mm -hmm. and most of them got like at least their lower extremities wow. fully submerged which did not sound pleasant to me <laughs> but mostly you know briefly so yep I stayed at the water park and stayed at a mountain cabin um, and went to adventure uh, no spirit mountain spirit mm -hmm. mountain mountain adventure park um, which was very fun and so yeah and there was yarn purchased there because yarn harbor has exclusive three irish girls and we missed them this year in the market. They were pre prepping for TNNA, which just went on last weekend as well. So, yeah, none of that yarn. 
is in this ginormous pig <laughs> of a bag that's sitting here. Your wool piggery. Yeah, and I told Amy, I'm going to be surprised. Like, there's something, I haven't looked at it. <laughs> so it'll be like, woohoo, past Megan did an excellent job of picking out yarn for me. <laughs> I have asked Megan, she has good taste. Yes, and I've actually had some time to knit recently, so. It feels like you might actually get to it. Yes. I feel that way too. Like, mm -hmm. for the longest time, it felt like, I have too much yarn, I'm never going to get to it all, and now I'm finally like, oh, I'm going to to buy the yarn again. <laughs> Whether I'll get to it or not, it's not here nor there, but. Yeah. I can, I can dream again. Did you by chance finish anything? Because I see you have a pile, do, a large do. pile of knitted so, fabric over thank there. Thank you to Helena, Miss Cookie, because thanks to her, I was able to finish this. She had we some did. left over of this exact yarn, and I was able to It looks to like it blended well. Yeah. Yeah, I can't remember which end is the final one. So yeah, it looks great. Mm -hmm. And um, this was Mirian um, by Yosulma. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, and this is a, uh, like the her suckle colorway or? Yeah, and and it's um, Bugga. Mm -hmm. Bugga. Super soft Bugga. Yes. And this was a really fun knit. Um, like I said, I, I ran out of yarn, so be careful when you read this. It, it's supposed to be one skein of verb, a uh, verb for keeping warm, mm -hmm. whatever. The, that one uh, is a little bit larger skein of sport weight than other skeins of sport weight, so um, ah, mm -hmm. I, I believe. So you want to be careful on that yardage. I think it was just a. Um, I'm laughing at myself because we totally blew flat past in Minestrati. Like we are, oh, we are totally. You did that too. I though. did. I'm you not finished objects over there, and I'm like, okay. <laughs> no, but I'm laughing because we're out of practice. I know we are. Okay. Well, but you we'll do the pre we'll interject. Pre we, okay, I was gonna say, or so we could interject in at the in between words and. No, no, okay. no. This was a preview. Go ahead. All right. So we have self striping May, which was um, the fabulous um, knit circus who was also at our market with Miss Amy, um, Amy Deachin, uh, over the rainbow stripes. And we have a ZK 2016 bag that is pretty rainbow tastic and matches. Mm -hmm. um, and then one of my patterns. And so that's three winners. And this is for May. I know that it is mid, mid to end June here. Yeah. Exactly right in the middle. Mid, yeah, um, and we're finally getting the drawing in, but um, we'll do it. Every, the first person to contact me and say I want the bag or I want the yarn or I want the pattern gets it, and then kind of rank them because mm -hmm. if you're not the first, then I'll just have to get back to you and be like, which one of the the remainder? Um, so if you have that ranking in place, then it's easier because then I can just go, okay, well, your second choice was this and you were the second person to contact me or mm -hmm. whatnot. So anyway, all that to say, 2 through 877, um, the winners were 732, 554, and 114. All evens, even Stevens. Cool. 114 was Mathlete Catherine, and she was a fabulous teacher and um, just saw her at ZK 2016. Um, 554 was Silly Mom, but that's with an S-Y-L-L-Y Mom, and that's Sylvia, and they all had some very fabulous socks, um, Zour Ball, and um, I can't remember the other ones now, and 732 was Lily 52, and that was Lily. Okay. Contact me via um, Ravelry or um, email, and I'll just, I looked at the timestamps on those, so it doesn't matter which... Um, method you choose, but congrats to those self-striping um, winners. 877 for the month of May. Pretty Ooh. crazy. Or not up to 877, not 877 for the month of May. Okay. Um, and then we have a Fantastico KAL and prizes going on. Do you want to talk about those? So it's the Scrappy so, Happy Cal? Yep, we do have the Scrappy Happy KL. That one is for um, kind of leftover yarn or mini skein kits. And basically you want to incorporate five different um, colors or at least, types yeah. of yarn at least into your Scrappy project. Um, and, it, and it has to be separate skeins of yarn. Um, they can be tied 
or they can be ends woven in, but they need to be um, separate skeins. Mm -hmm. And then um, we had two patterns that we had uh, released at the retreat that are certainly scrappy tastic and would count in the KAL. Mm -hmm. But um, there have been some suggestions going on in the chatter thread of ones that people might use to mm -hmm. use their leftover yarn. Yeah. Um, we're asking that each entry, so whips are allowed. We ask that each entry be a, a one skein project. So if it's a pair of socks, it's a pair of socks. That's a one skein project, but try not to be like, oh, my two year old's socks or mm -hmm. um, one square in this blanket times five. Um, no, we're, we're looking for a one skein project. So a shawl, a um, it could be bigger than one skein, but you know, a shawl, mm -hmm. a pair of socks, um, around a cowl, 100 grams, right? Yeah, around 100 grams. Approximately, right? Not everybody uses a whole hundred grams for a pair of socks, but I would say yeah. a pair of Scott socks is a good entry. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, yeah, so again, if you plan on using multiple um, entries, please try to hit that threshold. Mm -hmm. And um, we do want you to do multiple entries. Mm -hmm. And that is the Scrappy Happy KAL if you wanted to hashtag it. And um, the fabulous prize. The, prize, the prizes right. that are up for grabs are the fantastic goodie bag. Yes, the goodie bag from the retreat, which includes the um, bag and the mini skeins and the cup. Um, cup. So if you watched our enabling episode, it's Last in the first week, few yeah. minutes. We go through everything that's in the bag. Mm -hmm. All of that stuff would go um, to you. Amy if you and want. I are willing to throw the pattern, our patterns. Yep, in with that one. Yep, so some scissors from the Silver Shed USA, and yeah, all kinds of fabulous things. Yeah, a good a word, a wash, mm -hmm. yeah, a little pouch, um, all very cool stuff. Tube. And the needle minder too. Oh, the needle, yes, exactly, needle minder. So two of those to give out in the KAL. You have until the end of August to get your entry in, so it's a longer uh, KAL, two whole months, uh, plus whatever we have left in this month. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, please enter and um, yeah, keep going. And then there's also my um, Persian Dreams KAL still going on. We're still making our hexagons. I am two behind right now. Yep. Or one and a half. But I can catch up on those pretty quickly and I plan on it. Yeah, and K47 was like, who's all knitting those? I, well, I brought mine so that we could like cast on Junes together. <laughs> and I was like, I don't know anybody else. <laughs> <laughs> knitting them sorry but yeah I mean it's it, we got lots of fun KLs going on whether or not you're a self striping person or a yeah. um, a blanket a blankie person um, a scrappy KL person but yes we're excited for the scrappy KL so if you did see our prize bag or prize our goodie bag for the attendance uh, mm -hmm. to the retreat uh, and you were like woo I like me that um, this is the KL to yep. enter and we always set those aside um, because we, you guys put up. <laughs> yep. Yeah. So when we're ordering, we're like, okay, we got to get something for the zombies that can't make it. Yeah. So. So this is the chance to win one. Yep. And yeah, that's it for administrati. It is. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Back to finished objects okay. because Megan can Ooh. remember how to <laughs> podcast. <laughs> so. Um, we had the lovely shawl, but uh, mm -hmm. not to be outdone. I finished my breathing space. Woohoo! So that has been officially modeled on Gina. Um, it's been too hot to wear it myself. I have not even tried on the finished garment because I've been so warm. Well, our house is getting really warm at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. Like if I remember to try it on in the AM, it'd be okay. But like at the end of the day, our house You should have came to Duluth. Yeah. Was it was it a high of 55 when we left that day. Yeah. Good night. So we opened the door when we got home and it was like 80 and muggy and we were like <laughs> <laughs> I I liked the cooler Duluth weather. It was yeah. it did get a little cold um but oh gosh it was Yeah, nice. it's been a it's been very rainy and muggy here. Yeah. And um yeah, so not one And Gina to, doesn't mind. No, Gina does not mind one bit. So she got to model this one for me. Um and again that that Mannequin is my bus size, so um, she couldn't fill it out in the hip area, so it did look a little like, I don't know. It was like, there's extra fabric over here. Well, yeah, 
that's for me. She doesn't need it. I do. Gina. That Gina. <laughs> so I have um, the two finished objects. Fantastic. I would say that's all, but you know, to me it was like, whew, I yeah. actually. Well, you got, got that one. I mean, that that was pretty quick turnaround. Yep. How much? How many grams did you need to finish it up? Oh, not a ton. I could, like I saw my end kind of over here somewhere. So okay. I but just it sure. It, I, I bet it felt good to get that off yeah. the needles. It was off the needles and locked within moments, and then and um, the the air in the room that I was blocking them in was actually dry because I had, it's hot up there, <laughs> <laughs> and had the fan on, so they dried pretty quickly. I'm getting very warm with Mr. Heat Box in my lap here. Yeah. He's making me sweat. He's making me sweat. And All right. Um, you got to go through a parade of socks. Don't I you? do. So another week, another pair has marched on. And I wrote up some JavaScript in the last week um, that will tell me the, the the week in the year rather than me having to go out and to timedate.org and like look for what the um, what the week number is. <laughs> so it is currently week number 24, and I am on sock number 25. So I am one ahead somehow, and trying to hit that 26 where I'm halfway. It's just like it's in my sights. Mm -hmm. It's in my sights. So, um, during the retreat, I was knitting the fantastic um, watercolor stripes uh, by Diabolical. Um, this is the, did I complain too loudly, Jazz? Oh, gosh, but that does feel good. Woo! <laughs> He's a little warm one. He's got a fur coat. Yeah. Um, that I believe. <clears throat> catatomic stripes um, in the Targi base had lots of I couldn't sit down without, which I think would have, is just about anybody, sit down without people going and awing over the colors and saying, ooh, what's that? Um, and then uh, finished those up during the retreat and then immediately cast on some shorties for Miss Ellie. I did not have her foot cut out because I was not expecting to get to the point where I would cast on um, or get to the heel for her. Um, and I used somebody, I uh, used uh, Angela Beaglemon Knitter's um, Soxie. Um, and I thought I remembered Ellie had threes, but these are a little long. Mm. So, um, which is good, because I was thinking about it, and it's not very wise of me to make, like, a lot of them for yes. the one size. Yeah. Duh. She's going to outgrow them, and then she's going to have six pairs of shorties that I don't have any more yarn to rip out and make the heel. Mm -hmm further back um, because, yeah, I mean, these are using up a majority of what's left. So, diabolical, watercolor stripes, really pretty. OMG heel, just playing on that, and these are my kind of own toe up, um, I call them Ellie Rose rollers, um, but they're toe up, spacious OMG heel. Mm -hmm. And then just no ribbing at the top, so they roll. Um, and then I, once again, uh, aspired to be part of Camp Loopy, mm -hmm. <laughs> and I bought some very colorful yarnings in the Lucky colorway, um, and the first challenge was lace or lace-like, brioche or brioche-like, and color work or color work-like, I think, were the, th one, the three challenges, and it had to be um, a skein of yarn, and so these are the, my static zing pattern. Um, the heels and the toes and the cuffs are very similar, but if you look at them, the rest is not. Okay, I see. <laughs> um, stripes were very different. I, I thought I had lined them up, um, but like it got to points where there was just a lot of pink. Um, like mm -hmm. I think it went like pink, dark green, pink, and then like a lighter green, and I didn't quite, I never memorized the striping pattern because I was always intermingling it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Uh, I decided that this this stitch pattern was kind of brioche-like, mm -hmm. um, in in the sense of that um, or color work-like. Yeah, a little bit of both. Could be, but very fun and wild. Just kind of like <laughs> <laughs> the um, very colorful yarnings. I tagged them on Instagram, and she was like, "Wow, those are some crazy." Because she knows what the stripes are supposed to be doing. <laughs> 
and they are they're pretty crazy but i love them all the same so yes socks 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 mm -hmm. and lots of socks purchased socks gains purchased and um a couple prize winners from zk some perfect tens <laughs> size tens that i that i'm knitting for so oh is that already the start one of them mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. very cool so we can um, jump into works in progress. Cool. I, uh, That's what's next, right? <laughs> I think so. Is that how this works? Couldn't I think it? So, so out of practice. It's like riding a bike. <laughs> Ugh, stretch. Okay, so um, one of the things that I got furthest on was um, my lovely linen top. So Ooh. I've got the first half done. And this looks very skinny because of the illusion of the side panels yeah, but optical illusion. yeah um I which might be good so when you wear yeah. that it looks very skinny as well i hope like, so zoom, zoom. <laughs> <coughs> i hope so but um yeah so far so good and this and is the back it's tapa yeah it's tapa in the uh, euro fox linen and then I am on the back panel now, or front, this is the front. Um, but the, the lace edging panel is done mm -hmm. and I'm picking up stitches and getting the right counts there on air for some reason. I live dangerously that way. I hope I don't have to rip it out. Um, and I have my very own Rose City Rollers that I'm working on. These are traditional top down. They are top down. They do have the um, heel flap um, construction, but um, I got really far on these during the retreat. I am on the toe. I'm getting very close to being done. Um, yeah, is that blueberries? It looks very blueberry. -y. It's our. It's the ZK colorway from um, Dreams and Fiber from last year. Ah. So you probably have some of them. I do. Very pretty. Yeah. And um, that is turning out really, really nice. And that'll be fun to have to let me know how you like the heel flap version of it. Yeah. Okay. I would think it might be it might slip down into your shoe a little bit. I don't know. Right now I have. Well, right now I have um, just the no-show socks, and mm -hmm. they have like a short row heel in them, and they're very much like they like to tuck under. Mm -hmm. So what heel wouldn't? I don't know. My daughter seems to like the spacious OMG. Okay. It kind of cups and hugs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm kind of, a a, I'm a little biased, mm -hmm. um, impartial. It's not what I could say. So I have a couple, um, I have a whip adjacent and a whip that are very much tied together. So I decided to join in in the Pal Cal on okay. uh, 2016. So the Pal Cal is where you take podcaster um, patterns, yarn, or bags, and as you're using them, you get one entry. So my project that, that is in the Fat Squirrel bag has a um a uh, co-hosted uh, measure in love mm -hmm. here as the pattern and has the um just one more row dana unwind company yarn so i have a three triplets in this one project racking up the points yo um, and they have a lot of prizes. I was pretty impressed. They got a lot of prizes together. So if you haven't heard of it and you haven't thought about it, it runs till September. Wow. And has a lot of prizes. And there's, I believe that it's anything that you're working on that has that in it. So whips count and you can, um, like, just have the yarn or just have the pattern. Mm -hmm. You don't have to have, like, a triplet like I do. So I was thinking the hat's going to be a fairly simple project, and I have yet to start my beach please. Ooh, what? So beach please would be another just run it pattern with um, dramatic knits. Um, Steve leading my fiber arts. My fiber arts yarn, the ghost light um, base, mm -hmm. and so I was like, oh, there's two. Now if I can find another bag. <laughs> 
to put, you know, like, I was thinking, I was actually going to be like, convince your mom to start a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> but find a way to get another I do have another fat squirrel bag but I don't know if there was a mention of you can't just reuse the same bag and recount that entry but if you have like say you have a collection of fat squirrel bags mm -hmm. what are you going to do? Yeah. Well I only have two but if you were to say have a big collection of them you could probably put it in a different bag mm -hmm. and was that counting the one yeah. I got you this year at KP? Yes, that is the county. <laughs> okay. I didn't know if you had gotten the KP Oh, no, one. I did. So I have three. I lied. They were all recent, though, right? So I had the one for the longest time, and then I got two. Bye, bye. Okay. Okay. Yeah, my apologies. No, I was just You're saying, right. accounting-wise, I was thinking you had at least three. I do. I do. Okay. They're all the same size, too, though. Which is my favorite size from her. Is so. that more than words? The, the colorway? Yes. I like the denim mm -hmm. It's it's a wonderful base. It's a wonderful Smushy color. Smushy. It's it's turning out so well. Mm -hmm. This was a Romney, right? Or a Rondelet, or was it a Targi? I think it's a Targi. Targi. Okay, so it was a Targi base. Um, I just couldn't remember. It, I didn't have the um, tag. Just like Targi on it. Um, yeah. So, so nice. Excellent. And yeah. So this I just started today because the cow, um, the KAL, even the whips counted started today. Mm. So um, it's time to be able to post and, mm -hmm. and talk about it. Um, perfect. So I have one adjacent project. I probably won't start that until the hat's done, um, just for ease of stress levels. But my other big thing that I just like, oh, why not? Um, is I'm going to do this. I have uh, started a giant shawl for my sister-in-law's wedding. Mm -hmm. So I have this beautiful alpine lace shawl. Um, it's going to use two skeins of this um, Jaeger spun lace, which is 560 yards. So two of those. And... Um, it, this is getting into the other lace, so the there's two laces. There's this border lace, and then there's central lace, and I'm just barely tiptoeing into the central lace, but it's very addicting. Um, beads? But it, yes, and I did add beads to the pattern. There weren't beads in the pattern, but um, the, the eye of this, um, this alpine lace on the border um, just lent itself to adding a bead. Mm -hmm. And um, I don't know if I'm going to have enough beads to do all of them, but they were very standard size six in a crystal. So hopefully I'll be able to find hmm. more. When is the wedding? Uh, undetermined time, probably November. Okay. So I've got, yeah. If you could have waited and done it for, um, no, for Ravelin X. Uh -uh. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to join in the crazy of Ravelin X? I do not want to join the crazy. I like... I mean, again, I can I can power through things when I need to, but it's not my favorite thing You don't to like do. to make yourself need to. Yeah, I got not. it. <laughs> so I will probably go crazy on this until it gets to about two feet, and then I will probably be like, hmm, there's three feet to go. I'm going to pause, <laughs> work on something else. Time out. Um, but I'm, I'm barely into it. So there's quite a few feet to go before I get tired of that. That's a lot of fun. I love um, it when we talk about knitting and feet. <laughs> right? <laughs> Two feet of shawl. Two feet of shawl. And, and um, you said it's five total? Five feet? Yeah. Okay. At least. Six, 60 inches. Yeah, at least. It might be a little longer. I don't have a book with me. It's a giant, heavy... Um, hardback book and I haven't made copies yet so um, for traveling mm -hmm. so I also have my Persian Dreams K.A.L. I started um, that one and I've moved from the littles to the bigger and I'm excited to get that one done and I'm going to make another one just like it um, for my June one but this is still May I'm making a face but that's all right. We'll get caught up because it's only one a month, and that's the way I like it. Okay. This one, I'm excited. 
that's the way I'll go. Mm -hmm. I like it. Mm -hmm. And then I'm doing something for Christmas in July. So I grabbed something that I put together several years ago and it, it kind of travels around. And I make ornaments with these things. And I might switch them out, but you know, there's reds, there's greens, there's whites, there's dark colors to mix in with them. See, and I thought maybe you're doing something scrappy happy. I could, certainly. But those are pretty colors. Yeah. But no, my, my goal is to make ornaments, so um, probably not um, the the right amount of yarn. Yep. Yardage for that. We just covered those. Two. Yes, we did. <laughs> but um, yeah, I, I, I grabbed this. This is another needle adjacent, so I'm trying to get through that. And I have other things in mind, but got to get the traditional one in there as well, mm -hmm. right? Um, as it's kind of supposed to be surprised a little bit here, a little bit there. So mm -hmm. who knows if they will see. But that's all I had for whips. Whoa. But I know that's not a whip. And there are probably many more that were just kind of like in timeout or something that you didn't see. I did I did make Ravelry up to date, so you know, if you want to go look at my shame, you can see that I have a lot more whips than than I show. I regularly see that you don't have Ravelry updated, so I'm proud of you. Because when I'm show linking, I'm like, oh, that one doesn't have a project. Oh. Huh. That must be anything that's very recent because like a lot of the back catalog has been there for a while. Okay. Yeah. It should be caught up. Hopefully okay. I'm not lying. I'm happy for you. <laughs> I'm I use Ravelry as like my accounting of um the number of the socks. So you can set up um oh, a yeah. tab that says, you know, anything that's been tagged another um, week another pair and then it totals it like the mm. tab has a total on it. So it's It's what's keeping track for me. Mm -hmm. So I very um, Diligently keep it up to date. No, I wasn't complaining. I know you have a lot going on right. I just yeah, I Think it's up to date. Okay. I'll let you know. Okay <laughs> It was like thanks I, I'm like, I really appreciate God. that. I'm like, you know, like thinking like, oh, how much of what I just said is not in there. <laughs> it's okay. Now that I have stuck my foot um, in my <clears throat> As part of the retreat prizes, I decided that for two random, not so random strangers, um, they, they had to be at ZK and, and um, they were all people that I'd stuffed badges for and given hugs to and whatever. But um that at least two of them could be for people because you know, there's only so many socks you could knit for family and friends and mm -hmm. whatnot um and so um i drew two um two of the knights and then they got to go choose yarn and so they chose very lovely another crafty girl yarn um and the, this one is amy um minnesota quilters um size 10 foot is going to be this very beautiful brand new um kind of reminds me a little bit well there's kind of this rusty color that is kind of like your breathing space and then kind of like a a, a gray or a um like a tarnished gray in there as well so for some reason the colors were akin but now that i'm like looking at them going mm -hmm. <laughs> um but it's boomerang fish so it's one of her um newer colorways and I so loved how my monkeys turned out mm -hmm. um, with my floating lanterns that I decided I would make her monkeys. So. So you got to pick the pattern? I did. I, I, I didn't give them an option to okay. me. <laughs> I just was like, very smart. I'm going to translate this into a pretty sock. So mm -hmm. I did go out and do my due diligence at least for Amy. And then the other one is Leah and you'll see her yarn um, when we do enabling. Um, and make sure that she didn't have like go crazy and knit like 12 of them in a year of the monkeys, right? Mm -hmm. Like why would yeah. I want another pair of monkeys? Um, so if she doesn't have her Ravelry pages updated, then I could be knitting her another monkey. But I love how it's knitting up and I really love the monkey pattern. Um, at one time I made pearl or not pearl um, unholy monkeys. So mm -hmm. I, I would knit through the back loop of the yarn overs, but I, I do like the way that it sits. and. It doesn't seem overly lacy. 
kind of the decreasing and the pearls and stuff, I think, kind of cause it to fill in on itself. So that's another week, another sock. Um, and as I mentioned, that's number 25. Um, and then as part of um, ZK, I bought this, which is Hedgehog Fibers. I don't have very much of it left. So I just um, split it for a sleeve. Oh, I've got Zoths in here. Ooh, yum. <laughs> I wanted to see my kids' faces. We got it at a candy store in Duluth. And Quinn was like, you need to spit it out. I don't like it. Yeah. So I, um, I, I just confiscated the candy. Um, but this is all that I have left. Um, and it will be enough to do this sleeve. Uh, I got it off of the yarn truck, um, so 716 Knit, Knit Buffalo um, was part of, you can't get it over. I think that's, that's, candy. that's, that's Karma Candy. Yeah, that we're bad that's, to eat it. That's, don't eat that candy. Um, and I believe it was Sarah Forensic Girl came and said, yeah, I got a sweaters quantity of Hedgehog Fiber Arts, and I was like, I have never heard of such a thing and I need that in my life. <laughs> like hedgehog fiber art. This doesn't have any cashmere in it. I know. And it, those sheep and yeah, they are amazing the, sheep. Yeah, the, they eat the four leaf clovers. Mm. It's so soft, so soft. Um, and wildly variegated. I kind of hemmed and hawed about using it. It's the dragonfly colorway. Absolutely love the purples and blues and, and pops of pinks in there. Um, and none of the Ravelry pages for this pattern, um, Car Carpino, Carpino by C Carol Feller, um, had like wildly variegated. They were all very solid, very classy looking like beach cover ups. Um, uh, Mary M. Horv for at the retreat was knitting it out of a really pretty like coral, but it was a solid or semi-solid, and so I was like, ah, and I'm so glad I did because oh, just look at this, I just can't even. The lace just looks fantastic, and then I look at the back and I'm like, I could totally wear this this way, and I would be okay. Other than mm -hmm. it would look a little weird that I was like showing off my back. <laughs> look at my back. Very very nice um has a rolled collar um an i cord collar that you pick up for and is super easy to do and i was only able to get two skeins of this because that was that was all that was left on the um truck and um just making it so i split the skeins and that's as long as the sleeve is going to be mm -hmm. um so really love it and it had been I posted this on Instagram 40 days since I had had a sweater on the back. <gasps> it was intense. I had, I had like, I was watching people knitting on sweaters at the retreat, and I was like, I felt myself being like very envious, right? Like, like oh, that's uh, nice. And I think I spent a, a substantial time with Mary, kind of going, like, looking at her Carpino and going, man. That'd be really nice to knit that. Why am I not knitting that? <laughs> Why don't I have any sweaters on the needle? <laughs> like, just kept on asking myself. I was kind of like an addict that was like, it's been 40 days. I need to have one on the needle. So this feels like it knit itself. Um, very easy lace repeat. Um, and yeah, the, the, just can't even. Love it, love it, love it, love it. I don't even know if the camera's doing the colors justice, justice, but, um, there was one skein that was definitely dark and one skein that was definitely light and, and they blended very well. They played well together. So, And this this pattern, um, fairly straightforward. One really cool thing is they have um, darts in the back. So the waist shaping, which I did actually do, um, is through the center panel here. So if you see kind of a line going down it, which you may or may not be able to, that's because decrease, 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 increase, increase, increase. And bam, those are my works in progress. I hope to have that sleeve knit lickety split and a pair, another pair, another week, another pair. Awesome. And then some design work, lots and lots of design work, which will be sweaters. I need to add in a few more. Do rep row. Rep row. Rep row's right. 
All right, enabling? Yeah. So um, before the retreat, I had um, enabled myself into some Allbirds, mm -hmm. and they were orange, and I wore them twice, and then, uh-oh, something happened to them. Um, it was a manufacturing defect, but um, customer service was amazing, and they sent me off um, immediately uh, a new pair, as well as a shipping label to ship back um, the broken pair. So um, I shipped back the oranges and got the blues nearly, it seemed, you know, like as one was going the other direction, the other one was coming my way. Hmm. So um, I got blue um, due to their orange was no longer red or whatever they called that um, color was no longer available. Okay. Um, they gave me an option of gray or blue. I chose blue. This is not a combination that's on the site anymore. This dark blue comes with a lighter sole mm. if you're on the website now. Um, but uh, this was what they had in my size. Cool. And I like them. Yeah. I finally got my dad's reordered because mm. his were um, the wrong size. Okay. And then I, I got a second pair as well. <laughs> Some light blue ones. I will say that they were quite warm for the warm weather. Mm. Um, yeah. And so... I haven't been wearing them recently. Uh, just yeah, like I'm, like I'm I'm not wearing wool socks right now either. So I'm not wearing my wool shoes. I am wearing mine went all over Duluth with me, but but again, it was fifty something there. Yeah, like, well, well, the, well on the warmest day it was like seventy. Okay. You know, so it did get a little, but yes, definitely different than the eighty something with yes. high humidity that that I experienced. Um, and then another thing that I had ordered some yarn from Desert Vista Dye Works um, in my birthday month, mm -hmm. and that arrived um, late May, so um, probably the day after we recorded mm -hmm. <laughs> that final episode before the retreat. And I have the If They Kill Carl and Somebody's Not in Kansas anymore. So those lovely, lovely things are um, going into my self striping stash, which I recently gave a new bucket in my stash. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I, I decided that my sock yarn, it was living in four buckets and then spillover. Mm -hmm. And the spillover was these tinier tubs that were a subsection, so my um, self striping was in this little tiny tub. like. I mean, it's still a lot of skeins, but it was a little tiny tub, and they were jammed in there. So now they are living comfortably in one of those four larger ones, and then I have a over my dead body got put in another one. Mm -hmm. So like the, I'm not selling these ever, sorry, uh, ones. And then I had a, not that I'm indifferent to them, but the, the I'm okay with these de-stashing at some point. And those went into two of the other tubs. And then the main bulk of my sock yarn went into a big clear tote. I have graduated, Megan. I am no longer in my, my, my system. I am into the big totes like you. Bath tub sized? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But it was just the one for it for the <laughs> Just the one. Just the one. No, i i def I definitely have a problem. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I've got a problem. But um, the sweaters quantity are starting to outgrow their bins as well um, because they're not in the organizational system. They're kind of in their own section. Um, Tell me about it. I need to call my herd. I've been saying it, but just needs to. I that's just need what to it is. It's the call the herd. There's a, two call the herd boxes. They're not completely full, um, but that's where the ones that I'm not super in love with are sitting right mm -hmm. now. So they might get... Um, yeah, I mean, it's hard. I mean, it's like when you watch those shows where they have you have to put it in, like, keep, sell, trash, right? It's yes, like, that's pretty much what happened. The, the self-striping, not over my dead body, most of everything, and the, I can let it go. <laughs> so, it's like... And the most of everything is some great stuff. Like, um, my um, Gilmore Gl Girls Club is in there. I mean, there's some great stuff in there mm -hmm. that I would... Somebody would have to say, oh my god, those are my colors and I absolutely must have them. And then I'd be like, it hurts me, but I will let it go because you're going to knit with it now. Mm -hmm. And I won't knit with it for another five years. Mm -hmm. But there are some that it's like, well, 
I, I don't know. I don't know why I ever got this. This must not be something I'm in love with anymore. Mm -hmm. Maybe I was at the moment I purchased it, but not anymore. Mm -hmm. So, yes, yeah, no, I, I agree. I, I, I feel like I'm now getting to the point, you know, where some of seven it years been. into my into my stashing career that like, well, I was in love with that six years ago and now I can probably yeah do without it. Yep. But I'm hoping the weaving will also, uh, that's another purchase that happened, um, the weaving will probably um, kind of take on uh, some of that older sash, I think, because um, I'm learning and it's pretty stuff anyway. But uh, those self-striping. And then I have some things that came from our retreat. Now some of these are gifts and some of these are things that I bought, um, but I will share them equally. So I have a lovely uh, set of roll logs. Uh, these were not in our marketplace. Oh, does it say who made them? Hmm. Or at least not on the front card. They look like cinnamon buns. Yeah, they do. Hi. He too made these sort things. Groovy Hughes fibers. Awesome. So very pretty. Mm -hmm. Um, they have some sparkle in them, and like she said, they look like mini buns, honey buns. Tasty. Tasty. Then I have, um, I bought a, what do we call this, color trio from Sophie's Couples. That stuff, is that her MCN? It's yeah. Super soft. Yeah. This is MCN. I might have to get rid of all the, the crinkle paper. Um, care for it. Um, so this is indigo, deep plum, and charcoal. Beautiful combo. Yeah. They will live as a sweater someday. Um, I do not want to make them into a shawl, but um, who knows? I might change my mind. But right I, now, love, I love Miss Emily. I asked her, I said, did, did you feel like you've kind of honed your color sense or that you've always had it? And she said that when she was younger, after they would dye Easter eggs, she would try to hide the dye down in the basement because she would want to take it down there and dye things and combine <laughs> them and whatever. And I was like, so since you're a little girl, she was like, yep. <laughs> She's just got the knack. Cool. Some people were meant to combine colors. So that was that. And um, actually, Miss Sophie Toes, Emily, um, won your prize. Won my prize. So, um, I will be making a, or spinning a yarn into something to make for her. Mm -hmm. um, we have yet to connect. She might be busy. Um, but she's supposed to be picking something from my stash. Fun, fun. That I will spin. So then we have um, Yarn Geek Fibers. This is her Corydale base mm -hmm. in the boxcar and gallery colorway. Super pretty. And yeah, that's a fun speckletastic, um, got gray rainbow. I chose one that was kind of lighter but heavy on the pinks. And yeah, I thought it was good. Yeah. So that I love my Cory Dell from her. Yeah. It's very cool stuff. We have um, the sock base from Silverspun. Mm -hmm. So um, I uh, just happily put on like everything in the booth and and just went ooh this feels like a hug I like this mm -hmm. and decided that I needed to make some socks so for a happy uh, cottony silver hug and um, if you have not tried their yarn yet um, feel good yarn co feel good yarn co I would I would suggest giving it a try I mean you can get a good pair of mitts out of one skein of yarn from them and. You know, just little like Madonna style finger, go, mm -hmm. but this is a nice hug on your hands. It really yeah. is. Um, and it is just unique properties that of the yarn that make it feel like that. And again, there probably is something out there that I'm not aware of, but this, this stuff here is very nice. Mm -hmm. And it's got the connectivity so you can use it in gloves and still use your iPhone. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's cool. Then I also have Hidden Wings um, on Sport Base from another Crafty Girl. So this was my attempt at buying something manly at the retreat. Mm -hmm. It seemed 
it was a dragon themed colorway mm -hmm. and it is very cool and sport base so zoom zoom I know I don't have much sport base uh, so I like to grab a different base when I can let's see this was new to me the Hello Kitten Lammy Toes. I don't have any Lammy Toes in my stash. Very this was pretty. a gift. Isn't it beautiful? Mm -hmm. It's just speckletastic and I don't have any Lammy Toes so this was just awesome to um, get to see. Mm -hmm. And this is Botanical Baddie. Mm -hmm. And it May 2016 so it's even got a date that is close to our retreat. Mm -hmm. And that's so cute. Mm -hmm. Love, love, love. Let's see, I had pre-ordered, not that it was needed per se to pre-order because she did have this um, for other people to purchase, but uh, Harry Potter and the dot 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 self-striping Emperor Sock. Um, this is just a self-striping Tastico awesome sauce. This is going to be so much fun to knit with. Mm -hmm. um, from Penguin Soup. And it was wonderful to see all of her stuff in person. And yes. She's got ideas on how to change her setup for her next um, United States trip. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, yeah. she learned a lot and she was very excited to um, hang out with us. And they had some very fun little penguin stitch markers. Oh, yes, that's right. Um, with more to come. Mm -hmm. uh, the yarn trunk had gotten to me. <laughs> And um, <laughs> this was told to be the retreat colorway. Okay. Um, this isn't the self striping one. This is the lovely um, platter, platter tastic one. And I bought the Pride, which is a DK uh, in bitch slapped up and down Main Street. Mm. Is the colorway. But I, I, you know, like pretty instantly went, I want that. Mm -hmm. um, it, the self striping had black stripes in it and I was like no I think I just want the mm -hmm. speckle plastic um, and again I have a lot of Jenna's yarn so I decided to go with a, a, a bit different base yeah that would be manly as well I mean yep kind no, of the gray true. with the green and the blue and the very true a little bit of purple but men wear purple in these days in uh, in Minnesota yeah because of the Viking fight on the um so a another um and print. Sorry, just kind of yeah, yeah. And <laughs> um we have the merino nylon top from Hedgehog Fibers with those lovely sheep. So I'm excited to <laughs> give um this fiber a try. I believe it's the same as their base. You'll have to let us know if you find some um, four leaf clovers and mm -hmm. amongst the fiber. Yeah, it doesn't say that it's the um, was that in Jenna's? Specifically. But yes, it was in Jenna's truck and it's Hedgehog Fibers Fiber. So, hadn't tried that yet. Fiber Fiber. Yeah, Hedgehog Fibers Fiber. I am excited to, to give that a spin. Okay. Uh, Rock and Stream Creations. I actually do have a skein of their yarn. Um, I have not knit with yet, but I have none of their fibers, so this is uh, a fun thing to have. Let's see, this one is Polworth, ooh, wonderful, in Evil Mermaid. Mm -hmm. And we should probably go a little bit faster. I have uh, Fat Cat Knits uh, Sparkle Sock Minis. How awesome are those? Mm -hmm. So pretty in purples, which are perfect. So something I could use for our Scrap Happy. Mm -hmm. Scrappy Happy Cow. Ooh, another manly purchase, well, Another manly thing, we have a sock blank from Leading Men Fiber Arts. Mm -hmm. so theirs are one of a kind, so I'm not sure if they... Oh, Over My Dead Body. Awesome. Mm -hmm. We were just talking about that, Over My Dead Body. Yes. So that is really, really cool. Yes. I can't wait to see how that knits up. Let me show you my sock blank. And then... Um, Looney Hiker was thinking of me when she was in Aruba, mm -hmm. and so I got a little thing there. And then um, some more gifts. I got some stitch markers and more stitch markers. Yeah, I'm spending a lot of my stitch markers in mine as well. And then um, one of them is a little brownie, hmm. and I also have a little cookie and a little donut from the Sucre Creations. 
and a Nebraska. Mm -hmm. This might be a donut, might be a bagel. Mm -hmm. but Super cute. Yes. And I thought I had a, a sugar cookie in here too. Super cute stuff. Did you eat it? No. I need sugar. So thank you to everybody who gave me a cute, adorable um, representation of their thoughtfulness. Mm -hmm. and um, their journeys and um, some people like oh my mom makes these or I make these or mm -hmm. you know just little stories about where it came from and all of it very much appreciated and so thank you mm -hmm. and again thank you to our wonderful um, marketplace folks um, it was a great market this year it really was as evidence and then of course not to be we have my uh, super awesome mini cake that was put together. So oh, I see your bag it. and I raise you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mine mine don't have um, any of my any of the gifts that I received in it. So that's a self purchase. Okay. But yes, this is, the bag was a fabulous gift. I was going um, with acquisitions, right? Things that were that going were. into my stash, yeah. Stash enhancements. Yes. Acquisitions yes. implies that there was purchase. Oh, this involved. is true. Enhancements. Um, so I kind of have, um, this is my go bag currently, mm -hmm. um, Miss Leah, I traced her foot and I also traced Amy's, but her, um, her foot is sitting in my dining room. Okay. Just so you know, Amy, your foot mm -hmm. is sitting in my dining room. Miss Leah chose the fantabulous and alluring, um, gamut from another crafty girl. Mm -hmm. Um, and so that's caked up and ready to go with her foot. Um, from Sun Valley Fibers, I got Mr. Zombie. So Ellie and I have Ms. Zombie the colorway socks, and this is Mr. Zombie. And at the last minute, I decided that I could make the boys each a pair, and then they could match their their daddies. Okay. So a pair for Jer, which won't will take a lot of this game, mm -hmm. but I can use any extra towards making mm -hmm. Quinn and Dex. And I tried to get um, Mr. Quinton to pick stuff out in when we were in um, Yarn Harbor because mm -hmm. I was Dexter once being in him a hat, and Quinton just had his big five-year-old birthday, and he did not want to pick anything. Oh, okay. He wanted to go to the lake. Ow! Um, so those are picked up and ready to go. Also from another crafty girl, um, I picked up my own gamut. <laughs> <laughs> before Leah picked up hers. So I looked like a total gamut hog. Mm -hmm. <laughs> In addition to all of the other piggery that I have going on here. Um, and then I loved this colorway. It's called Dishes and Fruit. And mm -hmm. it's art inspired. A lot of my colors. Purples and blues. Mm -hmm. and bright pops. Of green. Very pretty. Yes. Um, I got the um, Strong Sock. Um, mini skein bundle. Um, this is mini skein bundle um, 0.04. So it's got a lot of her newer um, uh, Muppet colorways, right? Mm -hmm. Do 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 for sure. Golden teeth and golden tones. Mr. Bassman, bassman, not bassman, bassman. Mm -hmm. More drums. Phenomena, but it's supposed to sound like Menomena, mm -hmm. and sax solo. So she has them all wound together here in a cake so you can kind of separate them out. Mm -hmm. um, and those are about 10 grams a piece. Times she seven. is having a mini skein KEL for her mini skeins um, this summer, I believe. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, if you have a mini scene set from another crafty girl, um, keep your eye out for that. Um, mm -hmm. Prizes to be had. Um, and I plan on joining in with the ones that you picked mm -hmm. up for me so last year at Stitches. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm, um, I kind of got to pre-shop her booth, so I felt like I grabbed a lot of <laughs> pretties. Pretties! Pretty, pretty, pretties! Um, I have those same set of mini skeins that came with yeah, the color coordinated. Purple. Color coordinated bag. Mine are more purple. I guess that was yeah. a gift. But that was a gift. Um, and then I went a little insane in Jenna's booth. So you saw, or in Jenna's car. Although, no, these are the sweater quantities. That's how they're, how I had them. Okay. Um, separated out. So let's, let's go with, 
I got uh, my mini skein set. Um, I had mini skeins on the brain, not only from making a bajillion of them, but also from um, our designs. And I knew we were going to be doing the scrappy um, KAL. So I got um, Lean Men Fiber Arts Showstopper Minis. These are 20 grams each, which is perfect for um, the des our designs because we kind of had them. Um, my shawl was written up for 20 gram skeins, um, five, six, or seven mini gram skeins. And from left to right, we have Double Your Pleasure, Electric Avenue, You Betcha, Poseidon, and Blue Steel. And I just really liked that color combo. Miracle Gem also had some very, very pretty mini skeins. So this is Rainbow Connection. Her granddaughter drew this very beautiful rainbow. <laughs> and then she dyed yarn that um, oh, that matched said rainbow. And they're very tonal. Um, I don't know if she, these are five 20 grams mini skeins again. Um, but yeah, I just really liked the tonality of them. Like that there was, um, Mm -hmm. uh, a light in the dark to them, mm -hmm. um, which is kind of reflected in that rainbow. So, rainbow tastic. I liked the packaging too. It's kind of fun to see them all kind of mm -hmm. um, doubled over in here. And then I also could not walk out. I was like hemming and hawing between the two um, <laughs> and couldn't decide. So I just was like, fine, I'll get them both. Um, this one is Street Graffiti, um, Dream Vacation, Lisa Frank Fantasy, Kaleidoscope, and Daydream. Mm. Favorites number two. Yeah, so some a teal and a purple and um, kind of a darker blue purple. And I shouldn't have taken all those out because I'm going to have to take them. Very, very pretty colors. Hi, Max. Oh, I don't know why he goes. Hi, Max. Hi, Max. Hi, Max. Uh, what else do I have in here? Um, in Jenna's um, truck, truck, I wanted to say booth again, but um, not, but actually her stuff, this is 716 Ghee. Everyone wants petrified hamsters, but they're, they're never happy when they get them. Mm -hmm. um, so kind of that similar gray with some pops of color. And I just needed to have more of her Targi because I really liked the other stuff. And this was, this is her 716 sock, which is hostile. And the hostels are um, like her one of a kinds. Mm -hmm. So this is, was dyed May 15th, 2016. And um, I'm trying to, it's not, yeah, so it's a, a it's a, a it's a cell striper. So the, the green is going to be a solid, it's her HXC um, hardcore. Mm -hmm. um, and then the, uh, variegated kind of speckle stripe in between those greens and I just I couldn't walk away without it. <laughs> Which is just the story of the, my whole market experience. I've shown such restraint in the past. Mm -hmm. And then this year I was just like, and mine, and mine, and mine, and mine. It's just been too shot happy. I asked um, while making, um, while looking at the mini skeins as I was um, designing with them, I fell in love with Danny, one Twisted Trees um, Retreat Quartz Key colorway. And so I pre contacted her and pre um, lined this up. She had it nicely set aside for me. Um, but as I said, Retreat Quartz Key, and I've got three of those. I briefly thought about making my Carpino out of that, mm -hmm. and it would have been fabulous. It could have handled all of this and, and then some um, but really purple pretty purples and like a lighter shade of blue mixed in, in mm -hmm. there. just love it and her booth had so many beautiful colorways available in sweaters quantity but um, I bought this and then slowly back here because I have another one of um, sweater quantity from um, from her from um, yeah, I I made note of one that I really liked and then kind of put it in the back of my mind for when I must, you know, like if there's, I don't know, if the pattern comes up for it, I will, I will contact you her. You make the love it. connection. Yeah, I will and purchase. Um, so not only did I get the two skein sweater quantity of Hedgehog Fiber Arts, but I also got a three skein from Jenna. Um, 
and this is I'm not really fond of the name it's damp is the name of the colorway damp. Damp. Okay. I mean the only way it could be worse in my mind is moist <laughs> Because you really don't want to knit something out of damp. But the color itself, gorgeous. So blues with greens mixed in there. You can't really tell whether or not it's green or it's blue. Um, but again, just the soft stuff mm -hmm. it ever did feel. So another hedgehog. Yeah, I have about four skeins of hedgehog in like, you know, I could make a Stephen West shawl out of all of this kind of colors. And, and I'm, yeah, I'm still hoarding. I don't know why I need to start knitting like you did with the sweater. And I just cast it on. Yeah. Just was like, this isn't going to sit in my stash for forever. So I, I want to hear how this base goes. I want you to cast on something immediately so that oh, I can this hear. One? Yeah. Okay. So Grinning Gargoyle, the um, Fantabulous. I think I've said Fantabulous a few times. So if you were drinking, you can like <laughs> get drunk on me. Um, Lene. Uh, and her beautiful booth babe, Adrian, um, is a BFL silk lace, 55% um, BFL, 45% silk, 686 yards. This is the Very Berry, and this is the Carbon. Um, and I immediately thought Beach Please. Um, don't know if I'll need any more samples for the book, um, but I think that would be a very striking one mm -hmm. um, with the, the carbon um, and then the pop being um, the very berry. Um, or it could just end up being something else. Mm -hmm. I don't know how many um, lace weight garment patterns a book can really have, <laughs> but I do have enough here that I could make something pretty substantial, 1,200 yards. Oh, so pretty. Oh, pretty. And yeah, so that was, if you're counting at home, you know, quite a few sweater quantities and mm -hmm. lots of mini skeins and starting to feel like I need to have like a mini skein tub. <laughs> right? I, th I could get there. I could get there. I have quite a few. I, I in part of my retubbing, um, I was trying to also find a place or home for my partial skeins of yarn. And I did have a system that was working out quite well until I got into the blanket. And then people gave me and gave me and gave me. And so now I'm at like, I have a, a two gallon sized uh, Ziploc bag full of minis that have yet to go into the blanket, as mm -hmm. well as another one where partials have already been used in the blanket. Mm -hmm. So it's just, it's, it's, it's crazy pants and I need to figure out a way to tame that um, crazy pantsness, but I, I have yet to come up with something. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I need I need ideas on like how to rehome my cold herd once I get some cold out. It's like, don't want to have to go into the business of, of shipping out a bunch, but I want it to go to, to good homes and mm -hmm. Ideally, I w if I had had any spare time pre the retreat, I could have done that and just kind of saw people, mm -hmm. but never seems to line up like that. What happens is I stress by before the retreat, mm -hmm. and then after the retreat, I'm like, I can't close my bins anymore. <laughs> I either need to knit a whole bunch, or start wrapping my house, or <laughs> make a car cozy, or... <laughs> car cozy, sounds perfect. Yes, yeah. Um, but yes, no, it's, it's fun to buy, but then sometimes the reality of like, I can't shove any more of this into this bin anymore. It's yeah. And as I mentioned, got some three Irish girls in Duluth and also got some Brew City yarn that was Seuss-tastical mm -hmm. inspired by Dr. Seuss that came and there might be even more sitting in there in the, I'll talk about this when I'm not showing off my ZK piggery okay. file. More piggery, apparently, is on the way. Yes. Yep. It's fun. You can legitimize buying yourself things when you're stressed out and working hard. And, right? Oh, yeah. Like, oh, yeah. I, I have deserve a, this. I have a sock blank on the way. Mm -hmm. And I have two uh, skeins in my cart right now from one of our um, new new retreat sponsors. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, I want to go out and maybe check this out before. Um, How are you doing, sir? Before too long. You decided to make an appearance at the very mm -hmm. end. Yeah. Do you, you 
you think? wanted to say goodbye. Oh, okay. Mm. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Bye, Ufta.